goes into the fog and's off to go get the cows in. A bit happening this morning. We've got uh, tags meant to be arriving at eight o'clock. The meal trucks meant to be arriving at eight thirty, and the truck coming to take the calves up to both runoffs is arriving at eight thirty as well. So got a little bit planned. It's going to be a bit of a hectic morning, but yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. Right, we might as well wet the yard here and uh, get ready to run. Yeah, the girl stop for a pat on the way out. They're gonna run to the cow shed. Crack of a day here. Sun's trying to come up, a bit of fog. Beautiful. There you go, you guys, the first oh. row with the three bulls. We're into it. This cow makes funny faces when you pat her. Hello. Good girl. Good scratch. Come on, come on. Come on. Morning, come on. Yeah. How are we doing? Come on. Hush. Oh, that's another successful Morgan. Just waiting for two cows to finish. We're all washed up. Dad's just washing the throws and I can put the uh, wash through. 15 minutes before the tank arrives. 45 minutes before uh, um, calves leave. So we got time. We've got time. Oh, finished Morgan. The tank has just arrived. Dad's going to go lock the cows away. And I am going to go get some little calves. It'll be a fun one trying to get these little buggers to the cow shed like every year. On our reel. Let's go. Oh, water's going down quite fast. We're actually getting some good grass growth in amongst the uh, water too. Oh well. We'll come through our silage bales. We'll put a weight. We'll put a reel around them. Next time, it'll be the other way around. All the girls will yep. be getting those ones out. Well, they're diminishing with numbers every time. Right. Andrew's carrying 48 a load. 48. Three pens of 16. The carvies are happy. Morning, Andrew. Morning. <laughs> That's the way. Don't want to go in there, but I gotta go. Granny's got far more grass than us. Right, we're gonna take. um. Andrew wants to take his next load of Herefords. Meal trucks here, it's a perfect timing. See if Andrew can get past him. There he is, put the meal in. We're gonna go grab the last little calves from this paddock out here. Sorted down a truck load, eh, Dad? Yep. Now these ones will add to the last of the truck load. Yeah, Dad's little uh, last feeding carb mob. This is the last feed they're gonna get. Yeah, the youngest one is these two. I like this one. And another one of the black ones over there, the youngest. And that'd be easily seven weeks old by now. Yeah, seven, eight weeks old. So, most penicillin is today. He's 
there's no more penicillin cows. So they were good to finish up the penicillins. Good little calves. Right, that one there, that, there's two pens in that area. One pen in that area, and the, just a clean them up mob in this one. Managed to put them all on three truck loads. Which is about 48, 48, 48. 144. There goes the meal truck. I'm being attacked by little calves. The little buggers, get out of it. Uh, here's Andrew back again. Oh, we're going to have to add more calves to this pen, but that's all right. There's a little Murray Gray. He has grown well. Awesome. Right. Let's get it back into it. And then uh, once this load goes, we'll be looking at ringing the other ones that are still in here. Get them in the little pen and ring them up. Come on, shh. <laughs> tape make it look good. <coughs> oh, shh. Oh. Yeah, shh. <laughs> As they say, leave it to the professionals. <laughs> we'll grab our next pen of 16. There you go, he's got two rings on. Always do two as a safety measure if one breaks then he doesn't get blood poisoning. If you do one and the one breaks, there's a chance of blood poisoning because to get those uh, nuts to fall off, they cut the blood circulation off and they die off. And um, if one of them breaks, they can actually die from blood poisoning. Right, yep, perfect. Dad's done this a couple of thousand times, I think. Four times. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, so three to go out of ten. These are the ten that are going to go into Granddad's, up to Granddad's for his mobile mob. Yeah, he's got really good grip strength. He can do two at a time. I cannot. As he does it, he goes through, pulls the nuts through. Make sure you got them both. Yeah, make sure you got them both. And yeah, pretty happy with that. Nice, nice close one. together. That's the way. And I hold the tails up so that they... Uh, they don't try and kick them. With their tails up, they don't tend to kick. That's the one you want. You hold the tail up so it stabilizes them. And 10 Herefords rung that are going to Granddad's place. They've got, um, that's the, well, Granddad calls a mongrel mob. A mob that just goes around and eats all the paddocks that are too small for the uh, massive mob of heifers. Right, we'll split them up into two teams now. Yeah, that's a pen of 16 there. Good sicky. Another pen of 16 here, and then a little pen that's going to be dropped off at Dad's on the way through about 11 or 12. Not bad. It's all the calves carded, and then uh, we're off up to Dad's to go and bring some more calves and uh, drench them. There goes, that's the first load. First pen. Two pens to go. That's all the calves carded. Good. Those calves going in. We're all done, Dad. Yep. Just up to your place now. Just up to your place. So Andrew's going to drop the first pen off at Dad's place up on the hill. And then the set, the last two pens are going up to Granddad's. Beauty. Thank you, Andrew. That's right. Beauty. We'll see you up at home. Yeah, we'll see you up at Dad's. There he goes. Loaded up. There he is, all unloaded. He's off. Up to Granddad's now. Go and drop off. Dad's just run around and say the last truck's on its way. It's just coming up now. Guys, wait, you're not a little baby calf anymore. Daddy. Well, let's get these into this pen here. Another mob down, de knackered, B12, and five and one. Now, Dad's just giving them a drench. Or calves be feeling like pin cushions. Yep, drench pour on. Drench. Drench pour on, so. Yep, from shoulder blades to. to rump, that's the way. Last bob of little calves. And then they can go out to the paddock. I think Dad must put them out there. Yep. See how we go. There for them. Yep. Last round. Multi color. Yeah, Dad's done all of them. I don't done, done do this pen. They're drenched. Five and one, which protects against a lot of diseases that drenched doesn't get. Generally give them two five and ones. 
and a B12, which just helps with growth. Makes them eat a little bit more. Goes a bit better on them. Come on. They're off to their paddock. There we go. All done. They're in their paddock. Up to their guts and grass. They'll be happy. Nice lush tucker too. Yeah, beautiful tucker. Alright, well, it's right, time for breakfast. Afternoon everybody. So I got a bit of a cleaning up to do. I don't really have to wash it, the cows will be right walking over it. I'm gonna go and uh, put some hot water in our little cafeteria there because that's getting changed up. I'm gonna give it a full wash and then it'll um I don't have to worry about it and I'll take all the teats off her and she'll be clean as um gonna put some alkali acid in her today from the vat and then um tomorrow I'm gonna put uh, alkali in and we're gonna wash her out properly. Yes, it's all good. The cows are coming now. Dad's got to get the cows in. And um, yeah, we're just setting up for them now because we went basically left straight up off to the runoff. And time we finished that breakfast. Come down and have a rest. They come down. This is our meal here delivered today. Pelletized DDGs, palm kernel meal, crushed tapioca, wheat pellets. Magnesium, wine flour, salt, and vegetable oil. We got delivered 13 and a half ton today, which we definitely needed, which is great. Awesome, that'll do us perfectly. It'll last us a while now. Cow's gonna love yeah, it. Yeah, pretty windy out there. The little plants are doing great. The girls now, they'll be liking the uh, wind at their backs. Makes it a bit easier walking for the big girls. Awesome. Right. Well, uh, Start machines up and let's get the milking. Milking's going great. The cows are going swimmingly. The um, problem is at the moment with the wind coming in straight underneath the cow's feet, any meal that drops on the ground is getting flicked up and coming straight into your eyes. Come on. I believe I'm covered in meal. And so is Dad. Come on. Hup, hup, come on, girls. Hup, hup, come on. Well, here comes the rain again, Dad. Last row going out. And I'm getting wet in the pit. There's rain coming in the pit. Jesus. Been a big day. Got it done. I hope, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the morning. Yeah, Eddie. Awesome. All right, let's go. Let's go lock these cows away. There he goes. He doesn't have to stop and feed the calves today. We got the old Nissy. Right. Let's go. Before too much as rain rolls over. Oh, look at that. The girls are looking happy. A lot of grass in here, a lot of clover. Yodi. Full water trough. Got a little dog. Look how well that paddock's coming back. Jesus, that was only mowed, what, a week and a half ago? Coming back real well. Oh, so I'll see you all in the morning. <laughs>